into it. So y'all know the other day, Gunplay went inside Rick Ross' room while he was laying in the bed. <laughs> he went inside Rick Ross' room while he was laying in the bed and gifted him a chain. So, I didn't even realize that he had like a GoFundMe up, you know, like donors, you know, for his daughter, medical expensive. And the donors want a refund. Because, first of all, accountability is the thing. He is not taking accountability of these people donating their hard-earned money. And you went out and not saying that you used that same money to donate. But you went out, my nigga. You went out and literally bought a rich person a chain. You ain't even had to put that up on social media. But that shit backfired. Because this is what he did. Y'all remember this clip? Just for everything, man. Just for being a boss. And just, you know. Okay, let me get this all set up. Alright. I just wanted to. So let's talk about it. So the fans and the people that donated to the GoFundMe feel like niggas. If you got money to buy a rich motherfucker or somebody that literally come out here and stunt how rich they is and how much more money they make than anybody else, if you able to do that, why the fuck you need our money? So they want refunds. But this is what he have to say. But it's the point that this motherfucker did not take accountability for what he said, it's like, what, nigga? You still sound crazy. Let's get into it. You you never gave it from your heart, and you're going to die a piece of shit. Wow. Every, every single one of you said holes and f***ers. Richard. That went to go fund me and, and donated and went and get a motherfucking refund. You never gave it for, with your heart. Mm. You a piece of shit. Oh, God. You'll die that way. Richard! Mm. I'm for real. I didn't even know you could do refunds on GoFundMe. That's crazy. But in 90 days, mm -hmm. people that see me... This shit is federal. So you mad because them people want their money back? Because you sitting here stunting with jewelry and all that shit while these people sending their hard-earned money that the taxes of the fucking government already get the shit out of us. And for y'all to be like more, have more money than us, and you have a GoFundMe up for your daughter, and you gifting somebody else with a watch or a chain, that costs more money than probably what the GoFundMe is? This shit is federal. He give my brother a gift. They automatically want to say that I bought that with GoFundMe money. N had to pay that back. So now... If you really want to be for real, my nigga, if a nigga spun out on the chain, how the f they got it right back instantly right. with no pressure? Because GoFundMe have to give them their refund. You sound dumb as hell. So you trying to say because they got their GoFundMe money back that that's the money that you think that they think that you got. I don't think it's about... If he spent the GoFundMe money, it's about you was able to spend money to give a fucking rich person a chain. Now, I'm going to let y'all listen to it by itself so I won't talk. But I just had to get my commentary through it. Now, let me let y'all listen to it. Right. If that's what you, you want your shit back, here, take it. Right. So, all you f***ers and ass f***ers out there, f*** you, you never gave it from your heart. And you're going to die a piece of shit. Wow. Every See, everybody got to die a piece of shit. So I'm going to let y'all listen to it by itself. I'm not going to stop it. Like, share, motherfucker, subscribe. Hit the motherfucking lighters up. Let's talk about it in the comments. Y'all already fucking know. And we out here because we got things to take care of. These bars want to sit back and, um, oh, that, that's something else. We definitely going to get into it. So y'all already know. Catch the fucking live because we on the ass. Now, if you really want to be for real, my nigga, if a nigga spun out on the chain, how the fuck? They got it right back instantly right. with no pressure. Right. If that's what you, you want your shit back, here, take it. Right. So all you f***ers and f***ers ass <coughs> out there, f*** you, you never gave it from your heart. And you're going to die a piece of shit. Uh -huh. Every single... Get you something, man, as an appreciation, my brother. Uh, dog, 
for, you know what I'm saying, for just for everything, man, just for being a boss, and just, you know, okay, let me get this all set up, all right, so, you know, come on now, all right, so, you know, I got animal shelter as my, 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 my vibe, you know what I'm saying, so, we're gonna go ahead on and rock the, 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 la, 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 shelter you already know what it is and this how we live this how we move we always been dogs <laughs> dog always check been motherfucking dogs you know what I mean? but yes, my nigga, i appreciate this and boy that motherfucker heavy Animal <laughs> shelter i'm a rep it for life i'm gonna keep it for life i never said it bro you know i love you my nigga. i love you man i just want